Congratulations on your new Skydio system. In this video, we'll go over what's included in your Skydio X10 starter kit and some tips for getting set up. Each Skydio X10 starter kit includes a hard shell case, a Skydio X10 drone pre-installed with your chosen sensor package, a sensor package lock to hold the sensor package in place during travel, three batteries, one of which comes attached to the drone, a Skydio X10 controller with your chosen Skydio Connect option, two UHS Class 3 256 gigabyte micro SD cards pre-installed in the drone, one for media and one for logs, one X10 dual charger, a 230 watt fast power supply, a 100 watt USB-C power supply, a USB-C to USB-C cable for pairing and data transfer, a microfiber cloth, and a full set of spare propellers. Note that additional accessories can be added a la carte, so the contents of your specific kit may vary depending on what you purchased. Skydio X10 batteries are shipped in a hibernation state and will not power on your drone out of the box. Your batteries will automatically exit this state once they begin charging for the first time. To charge your Skydio X10 batteries, you'll need the X10 dual charger and the 230 watt fast power supply. You can also use the 100 watt power supply. However, your batteries will charge faster with the 230 watt fast power supply. Connect the X10 dual charger to a power source. Place your batteries into the dual charger. Gently push down to ensure the batteries are properly seated. The lights on the dual charger will pulse blue while charging, then turn solid green once charging is complete. It will take about one hour to fully charge a depleted battery using the 230 watt fast charger. You also have the option to charge an X10 battery in the drone itself. First, insert the battery into the drone. Align the battery with the rails and slide toward the sensor package until the magnets engage. Locate the USB-C charging port on the back of the drone above the battery. This is the only USB-C port that can be used for charging. Insert the 100 watt adapter and plug into a power source. The lights on the battery will turn on and indicate the current charge level. Charging is complete when all lights are solid blue. Using this method, it will take about two hours to fully charge a depleted battery. To charge your Skydio X10 controller, insert the 100 watt adapter into the USB-C port on the back of the controller and plug into a power source. The lights on the front of the controller will turn on and indicate the charge level. To check the charge level of your devices while they are powered off, tap on the X10 battery button or controller power button. First, remove X10 from its case. Reach down and grip Skydio X10 by the chassis and lift it upward to remove. Unfold the rear arms on the drone. Hold Skydio X10 with the sensor package facing away from you, then pull the rear arms laterally away from the chassis until you feel it seat into place. Now, unfold the front arms by gently pushing down and forward until you feel it seat into place. Insert the battery into the drone. Align the battery with the rails and slide toward the sensor package until the magnets engage. Ensure you have two UHS Class 3 or faster micro SD cards inserted in the slots on the side of the drone. Finally, gently pull upward on the sensor package lock to remove it from the drone. Make sure to save this piece to reattach when storing or transporting. Power on your Skydio X10 controller by pressing and holding the power button for 5 seconds. Connect to a Wi-Fi network and follow the on-screen prompts to set up Skydio Flight Deck, the flight software on your controller.
Enter the email address that is associated with your Skydio Cloud account and enter the activation code that is sent to your email. If you have an X10D, which is an offline system, you will skip this step. You may optionally set a password for your controller. However, this password cannot be recovered or reset if forgotten. Power on your Skydio X10 by pressing and holding the battery button for three seconds. Use the USB-C to USB-C pairing cable to connect your devices. Wait as pairing completes. The name of your drone will appear on the screen when pairing is successful. Once your drone and controller are paired, they will automatically connect wirelessly the next time they are both powered on. To pack up your drone and controller, first power off your devices. Press and hold the power button on the drone for 3 seconds and the controller for 5 seconds. Close the controller cover and insert it back into the case. Hold the sensor package so it is level with the chassis, then lower the sensor package lock into place. The magnet on the lock will hold the sensor package firmly in place when storing or transporting your drone. Hold Skydio X10 with the sensor package facing away from you, then fold in the front arms first by gently pulling back and up until they are tucked against the chassis. Next, gently pull the rear arms laterally toward the chassis. Gently lower your X10 back into its case. For more information about your Skydio X10 system, visit us at skydio.com forward slash support.